Now, we're going to use the meter to measure resistance. Now, normally when you first buy your meter, uh, this one here has got a lot of different options, whereas this one here, it's pretty much auto-ranging, which means it's only got three options. And the three options for the stick fluke meter, uh, volts, if I want volts, I just need to set it to the V. Whether it's AC or DC volts, whether I'm measuring a battery or alternating current out of a power source, it's going to auto-range for me. And I don't need to set it to a highest setting because it's just on V, it is the highest setting. If I want to measure amps, that's going to be using this fork to measure the current through the wire, something like that. I'll show you that in a minute as well. Now I don't have any current flowing through this wire, so of course it reads zero. And then the last one is ohms or continuity. Continuity means that little sound symbol there. There's also another symbol for it, but that sound means that you can check for a continuous loop that we got a complete circuit, and there it makes a tone. So I got my conductors, got my power source, and the load for this circuit right here is the sound and the meter itself showing you that you got about one resistance. So the wire and then through the meter, it's got one, about a one ohm resistance. Now when you're measuring a wire, like whether it's another lead or whatever it is, generally if the wire is good, it will measure zero resistance. So usually on these here, they got these caps that uh, stick in. You might have to remove the cap. But like if I wanted to measure the resistance on this test lead, all right, and then they got a little cap there to protect that piece. It unscrews, and I can unscrew it and pull it off. And then should be, again, about the same thing, zero or one, all right, very small amount of resistance. And then, of course, the longer the wire, if I was to measure all 250 feet of this wire in here from black to black. Let's see if we can get the other end. Where is the other end at? Um, not going to be able to get the other end. But the resistance in that wire, obviously, because it's 250 feet, would be more. So what you're going to do is you're going to set up the meter, and on this one here, to measure resistance, we're going to put the black one in where the black is on common, and you're going to put the other lead, all right, depending on what you're doing. If you're measuring amps, we'll put it there. Milliamps, microamps would go there, and pretty much everything else for volts, ohms, and continuity will go in this one. So you're going to use these two outside edges, all right, and then you're going to set the meter to continuity, all right, and first, and then we'll go to resistance in a second. So I'm just going to make sure the meter works. When there's an OL... That means they're not touching. It's an open link. And it'll say open link until you take it and make a contact with it somewhere. So what you're going to do is you're going to measure the resistance in these items here. And you're going to write them down onto here. Okay? And that's all you're going to do for right now. So I got, but you're going to have two different light bulbs. One, as you see, is going to be off. So it's like this one here. And you're going to measure the resistance of one. They're both exactly the same, except this one's off and it's cool. And this one's hot. So don't touch it. You got to get the glove. And you got to unscrew it with a glove and then quickly measure the resistance, right? And when it, we can just do the first one together. I'll do the lamp with you. When you're measuring the resistance in the lamp, whether it's this meter here where it shows right here to here. All right, so I got 18 ohms. So I would write 18 ohms in there for that light. 17 and 16. 17, that's fine. Or I could use this one here, same thing. And it doesn't matter the red or the black, which one I put where. But as you can see, 17.7 .7 to be exact, okay? So this one's a little bit more precise. It doesn't matter the black and the red. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to measure the resistance in the heat kit, in the bigger white light bulb, the, what we call floodlight, the fan motor, and then the contactor you're going to measure at the coil right here, and the contacts are here. Okay, so you're going to measure a side to side, that's going to get this magnet and give you a number, and then it's going to measure across here for where it says contacts, and then the fan motor. And I got another contactor here, and a couple other things if you have some extra time to play around. All right, and then we're going to talk about it. So you got about five minutes to do that. Just make sure that you use the meter to read each thing and then move on. Everybody uses the meter once to measure each thing, and then it might take a team to do this. You might have to have one guy unscrew it and hold it while the other guy or girl takes the meter and checks that out and just gets a quick reading. And if the class wants to just announce this reading, that's fine. Okay, any questions? All right.